All right, so this is 15 from your practice. They give you dy dt is k times y. They give you k, and they give you initial condition. So I'm going to solve the differential equation. Um, that's the goal here. So dy dt is negative 0.5 times y. So you're going to separate the variables to solve that. I'm going to multiply both sides by dt. And I'm actually going to divide, multiply both sides by 1 over y. Kind of a little another way to do it. So after you do that, you get 1 over y dy equals, let's see, uh, negative 0.5 dt. You can integrate both sides. It's kind of nice keeping the constant on the right-hand side, that the negative 0.5. So natural log absolute value of y equals negative 0.5 t plus c. I'm going to go ahead and exponentiate both sides. So you get absolute value of y equals e to the c times e to the negative 0.5t. Um, strip off absolute value, put plus or minus. So the plus or minus will go here, and that's all going to become a constant. Negative 0.5t. So there we go. Now we're just ready to, to use our initial condition. So it says when x is 0, y is 200. So if you use that initial condition on this guy here, you end up with c equals 200. So your solution to the differential equation is y equals 200 times e to the negative 0.5t. So there you go. That's, like I said, that's the solution. And then uh, 17, kind of a different style problem. It's like 16, so I figure if I can do 17 for you, that'll help. So 17, it's a pretty cool problem. They say, hey, you still have dy dt equals ky. Now you're not given k, but you're given two conditions here. y sub 1 is 55, y sub 10, y of 10 is 30. So if you solve this differential equation, and after a while you're like, you know, it'd probably be nice to solve this general one. Turns out if you solve this general one, uh, you end up with y equals c times e to the kt. And that's just a result of separating the variables. So if you can separate them, you can go like 1 over y dy equals k dt. And you integrate both sides. So you got natural log absolute value of y, kt plus c. You're going to exponentiate both sides, and then plus or minus, and then so you can see that you're going to have this e to the kt, and there's your constant. So nonetheless, you you solve the di differential equation, all right? You came up with the general solution. Now you're going to use this equation here in yellow, oops, and you're going to plug in your initial conditions. Right, so you're like, well, the game's not over until you solve for c and k. So let's see with these two pieces of of purple information right here. Let's see if you can plug those in and figure out what c and k are. So when x is one, y is fifty-five. Fifty-five equals c e to the one times t, or no, well, that's t is one. When t is one, y is fifty-five. Okay, so I plugged in my y right there, c e to the k times t, which is 1. So that's just 55 equals c e to the k. You have you know, kind of too many variables there. So let's say you took this one and you built another equation. That would be, let's see, when y is 30, you're utilizing this yellow again. When y is 30... 30 equals C, E, let's see, T is 10, so the 10K. So you're trying to solve for C and K, and you have these two pieces of information. Well, two equations, two variables, and we should be able to do this. I'm going to go ahead and solve, uh, let's solve this first one here for C. So this would be 55 over E to the K equals C. 
And I'll take that, and that's C, and I'll substitute it into the second equation right there. So then I'll have one equation, and it'll only have k's in it. So 30 equals 55 over e to the k times e to the 10k. Well, that's 30 equals e to the 10k over e to the k times 55. Your algebra skills are going to come in handy. Pay attention to this know, orange piece. You got e to the 10k on top and e to the k on bottom. You got to subtract the exponents. So like, you know, if you had x to the a over x to the b, that's x to the a minus b. That's the bases are the same. So the bases are both e. So 30 equals, well, 10k minus k is 9k. So e to the 9k times 55. Got to solve for k. So divide both sides by 55. So 30 over 55 equals e to the 9k. You're going to natural log both sides. So when you natural log e to the 9k, you just get 9k. So a natural log of 30, 55, and then divide by 9. So k, come over here, k equals natural log of 30 over 55 divided by 9, which is approximately, let's see, natural log of 30 over 55. Get that result, divide it by 9. Negative point oh six seven three. So now that you know k, you want to find c. So we should um, somehow signify that. Hey, by the way, that is equal to that, and that's important. So if you know k, let's see, do we have an equation that if you know k, you can find c very quickly? Answer is yes. This guy right here. So c is 55 over e to the k. So I'll just plug that in. I'm going to plug in this k of negative 0.0673. So 55 divided by e to the negative point oh six seven three is equal to oh it's getting messy now it's equal to fifty five divided by my calculator here e raised to that last answer fifty eight point eight three two roughly fifty eight Point eight three two. Okay, we got so much going on here. So that guy is C. So you can plug C and K back into your um, your differential equation, which is back up here in yellow. So we got to clear off some room. I'm just gonna have to just erase something here. Let's take this out. I'll write our final answer right there. So, y equals c. Okay, c was this guy right here. 58.832. 58.832 times e to the kt. And k is that one. So, negative 0.06. 7, 3, T. And that is it. That's the solution to 17. Definitely involved. Um, but there you go.